Hi friends, welcome back to another weekly energy video. This one's a little late, I do apologize. But I finally was struck down with the corona. Yeah, I had COVID this weekend. It really did suck. Uh, but I'm on the mend, so it's all good there. Um, and I just want to say, man, anyone who is also dealing with that right now, and uh, it's flu season, um, if you're not feeling your best self, I'm really feeling that. I'm really feeling that for you. If you're battling any health issues, I'm here for that. Um, or maybe it's not physical, maybe it's emotional stuff. I know that the holiday times can be extra hard, so I just want to put out an extra heartfelt, um, I see you, I love you, I'm extending warm warmth <laughs> warmth light and and healing positivity this week we have the full moon in gemini boy it's been sort of like long anticipated the final full moon of the year mm. gemini is spontaneous and it wants change and so i'll say with this lunation something to look out for is your words because your words create your reality and so it's like the flavor of be careful what you wish for, but just be careful what you say and to whom you say it. Because you never know where you're planting seeds for the future and what may result um, of those things. We're coming from a, off a weekend where we may have felt like a push and a pull, push-pull between self-reliance and the need for community. Let me know how that is going for you. If you feel called to uh, leave so, leave some uh, notes in the comments there. And the last thing I'll say about the full moon in Gemini before we get into our reading is that it's, you know, with Mars retrograde in Gemini as well, there's a lot of air energy. So we all like to talk. We let, there's, it's, air is about ideas and our intellect and, and the nervous system. So... Uh, some advice for this lunation might be to uh, balance out all that air and intellect with some feeling. Drop into your heart and um, talk about your feelings. And maybe mm, anything that you do stay connected to your why, to your intention of why you're doing it. Mm, it's never advised to be deceitful or to, you know, cheat or, or take shortcuts through life, especially now, I would advise against that. <sighs> Venus is doing a little dance at the end of the week as it enters Capricorn, steadfast Capricorn. So set and stick to your goals as it relates to love and money. Okay. We have breathe, observe, and chop wood. The cards they are coming. Right away, I had three cards jump out. This one was the only one that came. We'll take the other two as well. Two of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, and the Three of Cups. This is about prioritizing, or it's about um, not so much prioritizing, but um, Rhea, how do I say this? Deciding perhaps once and for all, or just in some more concrete manner, what your called to do versus what you'd no longer want to do. Some, like what feels like busy work versus purposeful work is something that's coming here. So I guess that is prioritizing based on those values though. Okay, let's see. I'd like to stop shuffling now, please. <laughs> it will tell me when it's done shuffling. Sure enough. I knew that card would come out. That's the Seven of Swords in reverse. Look at all the swords here on this table. I pulled a lot of cards just now. 
Three of Pentacles, Seven of Swords, Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords, Page of Swords, Death, the Devil, Six of Pentacles, Judgment, the Magician, Two of Wands, and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, just taking last week's themes of something about a distorted image of self. Um, do you remember that? Do you remember that theme from last week? It's showing up here again um, in the past. That, that makes sense. Something about not having the most experience, but we have the knowledge. So there's that air sign, the air showing up in the guise of this page of swords. The page of swords is the hero of the tarot and it's like he's equipped with the knowledge to take on the dragon, so to speak, to slay the dragon. There's a self-awareness that he has whether or not other people around this person, around you, um, are, are giving messages of validation or um, are seeking your wisdom, you yourself carry a wisdom um, that is bringing you clo in a closer connection to yourself. I see that this is, this is a change that is, is, that is present. Um, there's Gemini. Mm, I see Gemini, Scorpio, and Capricorn on the table. Yeah. And maybe Aquarius. Um, there's, there's this energy of change, but it's coming in a very sort of passive state where it's um, maybe nothing that you have to do besides to carry this awareness that sort of feels like Mars retrograde, right? That's maybe the energy of, of that planet. Mars, the planet of action, uh, retrograding. You know, ideas are cheap, right? It's like, but once you put them into action, right, then they become valuable. If you maybe tell some, share an idea with somebody or you take that idea and you, and it doesn't work here, but you try it somewhere else. Ideas are plenty during this time, but what are you doing with it? I think is um, something that wants to is a question that that may be asked. And during this time, I may not even, I don't even see that there is anything being done. I wonder if we're just in the process of collecting this, um, these ideas and asking what for? What is this for? Are these tools useful to us or are they not useful to us? Will this be useful down the line? Like how can I know if this will be good for me now or will it be good for me later? Should I toss it out or should I save it for later? So I see this as it relates to maybe for some people um, feelings of love or wanting to take action. There's this heart-centered action, the uh, Knight of Cups. At the end of the week, I said Venus is doing a little dance, right? I believe it's, it's square with Jupiter. So this feels sort of indulgent, chop wood. <laughs> chop wood and the knight of cups so uh, yeah we're being truthful we're being maybe romantic but does it bear substance um, it sort of feels like maybe this is a little bit of flirty energy honestly because we also have the devil and 
the two of wands, the devil being, um, you know, our desires and, and, and that, um, everything that, anything that binds us in the reverse, it's freedom. So this, this does feel like a very free and lighthearted energy. Mm. It's like good for playfulness, not for, not good for anything serious. In the outcome, we have the Nine of Swords, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ten of Cups. There's happiness. The Ten of Cups is happiness, contentment, a happy family, ultimate happiness. But it comes after a period of time that is um, intellectually draining or stressful. Mm. Remember what I said earlier about this is a time for the intellect and to drop into the heart. You see how there's the, literally there's like this balance card, this earthy balance card in between a cups and a swords card, which is our thoughts and feelings card. This feels like a very Mm, great way to summarize sort of what's happening this week. Mm, maybe some things are starting to shift um, or have shifted for you in the sense that um, you're acquiring new ideas about the future or about yourself or maybe what your purpose is and you're just really coming into alignment with that. How are you sharing those findings with people in your life that shows that you also care about them and what they want. That's true happiness. That's care within community, not just saying, I'm here, I'm doing this. Take it or leave it. It's, hey, this is what I've learned about myself. Where do you see yourself within the context of what's happening here? if we are to be in community. I see the Queen of Pentacles here sort of showed up along with the Three of Cups uh, right after the Two of Pentacles here is the theme of the reading. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, that's, the in, that's indulgence. She lives the manifestation so we have two times this idea of like indulgence or or care, this idea of care showing up. I think it means to take care, right? Take care of the things that you want, the things that you've worked for uh, thus far. Um, I think it's also saying to take care of yourself. There's this this energy here, this breathe and this observer. It's time to take in, um, breathe in, <laughs> literally, um, all of the ideas that you've put out into the world. Breathe them in, integrate them into your um, essence, if you will. You know, like, take time to sit with that which you have been creating the ideas you've been sitting with for a long time may be starting to manifest in really subtle ways in your life. And so it's good to just sit and observe them. And I think it's it's showing here that this these changes may not seem as um, so profound at first, but will appear in just the most mundane uh, details the most mundane aspects of your life. So, yeah, I think it's a good week to take a step back and try to find balance between the head and the heart. Just make sure you're aligned in anything that you do. Mm, realize how powerful you are in creating your reality because what I see here is you've definitely come into some sort of awareness about yourself you've used it to change some aspect of your life now you're moving forward with a greater sense of 
uh, truth or authenticity. And it's time to celebrate it. Time to celebrate it. If you continue to do the hard, hard, grueling spiritual work and treat it as serious work all the time, not only will you never feel like you're getting anywhere, you're, if you don't celebrate what you've accomplished, you don't necessarily have anything to rest on either. So celebrate every single one of those milestones in change. I think I'll leave it there for now. Um, <clears throat> it's a lot of cards, a lot of messages, but I don't want these videos to be too long. Mm, we're going to have a Cancer Moon weekend. So take full deep breaths. Um, practice forgiveness if you are called to do so. The full moon is always a great time to practice forgiveness, forgiving yourself, forgiving other people. Mm, get some distance from the things that uh, seem out of your control in life. Um, and just derive stability from the home front, things you can do for yourself at home, okay? Mm, that's what I got. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next video.